Hey, this is Greg. Welcome back to another Wild Edible and Herbal Plants videos. This is going to be Wild Edible and Herbal Plants number 41. Today we're going to be talking about one of the species of foxtail grass. In particular, we're going to be talking about yellow foxtail. Before we do that, though, i got to do the disclaimer. There are a lot of things out there good to eat, good for you, and some of them taste great. A lot of others, they're not. Some can make you very sick, and some can even kill you. If you're not completely certain what a plant is, don't eat it until after you've consulted with a local expert. With that, we're going to talk about yellow foxtail grass. Its Latin name is Cetaria pumila. Cetaria pumila. Okay? Now, I'm going to do something a little different here. I'm actually going to put the USDA plant map in right here. Now, you can see... This is actually what would be considered a true grass. Blades look very similar to like wheat or corn, narrow corn leaves. And then it has this head. Now these things can get up five foot high. And I'm going to try to focus in. Yeah, you can see the little seeds there. This one's not quite ripe but it is edible it is uh very closely related to millet and uh it can be used eaten whole you'll have to get all the the chaff off but it can be eaten whole it can be dried and roasted it can be uh, ground into a flour it's a it's a pretty neat little plant it is an introduced species it was introduced from europe and it is since it can be found anywhere in the United States and most of Canada. Um, so it's, you know, if, if you're trying to look for things to, to extend your, uh, your flower stores and things like that, if you're looking for things that you can just have as a snack on the go, the, the seeds eaten raw can be fairly bitter. Now the way that I have always done it, and like I said, this one's not quite right, but See all that fuzzy on there? I burn all the fuzzy off with a lighter or fire or whatever. And then you strip off the seeds. And you just, basically this one's not quite right. They'll peel off pretty easy when they're uh, completely ripe. You don't want to eat the center stalk though. There's a few. And like I said, it can be kind of bitter. And see, I'm just picking the seeds off the center stalk there, and my cat just knocked my tripod a little bit. So, it's a good one to know. We will be covering at least one more species of what is called foxtail grass. There are 40-something species worldwide only, well, I know of two, three, I know of three that can be found in the United States right now, all of which are introduced. Well, one's actually both introduced and native, so there's some slight variations there. It actually has the same Latin name. If you were one of the few people that got to catch 41 last time, uh, I did a video and it is so similar with another, uh, I did a video on a plant and it is so similar with another plant that I got it mixed up. So as soon as somebody pointed it out to me, I took it down and uh, I continued doing my research. And you know what? We have both of those plants here and I am gonna be doing a video on both of them. And I'm gonna try to make sure that I can do them side by side or at least one week and then the next week and then I'm going to compare the leaves of both. That way you can see, one, how similar they are, and two, be able to tell them apart. So, yes, I goofed. I hope you enjoyed it. Step by step, we're bringing Rural back. I hope you have a great day and have a great weekend.